guys, it's Ryan with AIinsiderTips.com, and in this video, I'm going to be comparing custom GPTs versus Claude projects. I've used both of these for several weeks now, and I suggest sticking around to the end of this video as there is one that I recommend over the other for my use case of running a marketing agency. So that's for content creation, ideation, uh, and anything involved really that involves marketing. There's one that I prefer more over the other. But that's not to say both of these are very useful tools. And throughout this video, I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of each one. But before I get into the nitty gritty, I first want to explain what these are. So if you're unfamiliar with custom GPTs, you'll see on the left of my screen, this is what it looks like on the inside. I made a personal agent for myself. I do have a whole video tutorial on how to clone yourself and chat GPT with a custom GPT. So I'll leave a link to that in the video description below. But what a custom GPT is, is this is a pre-configured version of ChatGPT designed to accomplish a specific task. So whether that's writing, whether that's generating images, coding, productivity, um, all sorts of these different categories as I'm scrolling through the GPT store, custom GPTs are designed to accomplish one task. Now before the, I kind of dive in a little further here, I must note, you must be a member of ChatGPT Plus to access these. It costs $20 a month still. There's enterprise plans and this and that as well. Uh, but you must be a member of ChatGPT Plus in order to access custom GPTs. And you can definitely do a lot with these, right? So I'm going to click Edit GPT. You can give these custom instructions, different knowledge. Uh, there's all these capabilities that ChatGPT has, browsing the, rep, browsing the web, DALI image generation, code interpreter, data analysis, uh, there's a lot of benefits of using custom GPTs for specific use cases. Now, Claude projects on the flip side are Claude's version of custom GPTs. As you'll see here, this is what it looks like inside a Claude project. I noticed my webcam might be taking up some of the space here, so I'm actually gonna maximize this screen. And I would assume if you're on this video, you guys have probably heard of Claude by now. This is an LLM or large language model that is becoming a serious competitor to ChatGPT. I find myself using Claude more than I do ChatGPT anymore, uh, as I really like the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model. Now that's that was released, I believe, at the same time Claude Projects was. Uh, they have a whole resource guide here on June 25th, so yeah, about a month ago. Uh, I'll leave a link to this and everything else that I mentioned in the video description below so you guys can have as much info as possible. But uh, back to inside a Claude project. So similar to custom GPTs, you have to be on the paid plan of Claude in order to access these. I believe it costs $20 a month for Claude Pro. Claude Teams, I believe, is $30 a month. So if you're on one of those two plans, you do get access to Claude projects. So you'll see here with my marketing agency, I have tons of different Claude projects. Uh, here's one for my AI agent, similar to what I made a custom GPT for. Uh, so I have a whole video on how to create Claude projects. You can find that in the video description below as well. Um, so long story short, that is what a Claude project is. It's essentially a custom GPT, but it's Claude's version and you're using Claude instead of chat GPT. So now let's dive into some of the pros and cons of each one. And honestly, guys, a con of both of these is that you must be a member of the paid tier to use either custom GPTs or Claude projects. 20 bucks a month for ChatGPT Plus or 20 bucks a month for Claude Pro. So there's no way that you can access these on the free tier of each individual platform. So I want to get that out of the way first. So now let's look at custom GPTs and some of the pros of using them over Claude projects. And number one is you get access to a GPT store. You do not have access to anything like this in Claude as of the recording of this video. So whether it's for writing, image generation, uh, anything else with graphic design, productivity, research and analysis, coding, lifestyle, uh, there's so many different use cases here. But the point I'm trying to make is that there are already hundreds, if not thousands of these custom GPTs available that you can just start using versus creating your own from scratch. So let's say in this case, I wanna do something with SEO. I wanna speed, speed up my SEO, whether it's keyword research, copywriting, whatever. I can type in SEO on the GPT store and you'll notice here, there's already dozens of custom GPTs created from the community that I don't have to go through and do it step by step. So this one right here has over 300,000 use cases. Uh, Yoast SEO, that's a popular WordPress plugin for those in the SEO space. Uh, so there's already a lot of these SEO custom GPTs already created. 
I could do the same with copywriting, right? So if I type in copywriting, uh, you can find all these different custom GPTs for copywriting, et cetera, et cetera. Whatever category or niche you're involved in or whatever use case that you're looking for, there's likely a custom GPT already available. So that is pro number one is that there is a custom GPT store. There is not a Claude store. There's no such thing as a Claude project store. So another benefit of using custom GPTs over Claude projects is if I actually click into a custom GPT, which is what this looks like here, and I scroll down, you'll see capabilities down here. And right away, you'll see I have all three checks. So web browsing, Claude still does not have the ability to browse the web in real time. And with the addition of search GPT coming soon, that is a huge advantage that Chad GPT has over Claude right now. So that means you can use this inside custom GPTs and you can't use web browsing inside Claude projects. Also Dolly image generation. That's another pro of using custom GPTs. You can generate images inside custom GPTs. With Claude, you still cannot generate images. That's one of the biggest downsides of Claude right now. Uh, they both have code interpreter. I believe Claude has data analysis. Someone may have to double check me on that in the comments. I know ChatGPT just added data analysis uh, where it can analyze large amounts of data, can even create interactive graphs and charts based off data sets. Uh, so that's another very uh, innovative deal here that you can use inside custom GPTs. So another benefit of using custom GPTs are these conversation starters right here that you you may notice if you've been inside ChatGPT or used a custom GPT before. So for me, I have conversation starters for writing an SEO optimized blog post, writing LinkedIn posts, uh, also helping me respond to PR questions from reporters. And if I go into this custom GPT, you can definitely mix and match these. You can edit these. You can add more, delete some, whatever you want. Now you may think, why is that a big deal, Ryan? Well, to me, it is so much more efficient to just one click a conversation starter if there's one specific task that I use this custom GPT for, where in Claude, I have to copy and paste a certain prompt and do it that way. Yes, you're saying that may take seconds. I understand that. I just want to speed up my processes as much as possible and have things automated. So the fact that custom GPTs have conversation starters is definitely a pro in my opinion. Now, when it comes to Claude projects, I must admit the very first thing that I prefer Claude projects over custom GPTs is the fact that I have access to Claude 3.5 Sonnet. I do prefer Claude 3.5 Sonnet over GPT 4.0, which is the most advanced model that OpenAI currently offers inside custom GPTs. So that would be pro number one, in my opinion, is I do prefer 3.5 Sonnet over GPT 4.0. Now, the second pro here is I am a bigger fan of project knowledge inside Claude projects than I am of knowledge inside custom GPTs. Not only is there, I mean, there's a limited usage size here. You'll see I've used about 52% of uh, the knowledge that I'm allowed for in a Claude project. But I just like the way that this is organized better. Unfortunately, with ChatGPT or custom GPTs, you can only input like PDFs, Word docs. Uh, I don't believe you can actually add content when it comes to the project knowledge or knowledge of custom GPTs. So it's very, very simple to add and build up your database of project knowledge in Claude projects than it is compared to a custom GPT. So if I click add content, yes, you can upload from device, but if I click add text content, you can literally add content to your project knowledge this easy. So whether that's a podcast transcription, a YouTube video transcription, this could be anything from an article on your website to mimic your writing tone. Uh, this could be anything from a bio somewhere or just anything that's relevant to what you're trying to accomplish when building up knowledge inside a Claude project. The ease of adding knowledge is much more efficient and better overall, in my opinion, than the knowledge that you can provide inside a custom GPT. Now, one other quick thing I just realized when it comes to project knowledge is that within Claude projects, now I know the screens are a little messy here, but I can come in here and simply delete some of the project knowledge if it's not applicable anymore. I just want to delete it in general versus a custom GPT. I believe that's a lot more difficult to do that. So yes, I can come down here and delete PDFs. I can simply click X. That's really easy. But the issue is, is on the create tab where you would enter in transcriptions from podcasts, blog posts, if you're not uploading PDFs or Word docs, uh, transcripts from videos, you would enter it all in this create tab and there's no history of what I did. So in the video where I showed how to create an AI clone of yourself, I literally uploaded or copy and pasted six different podcast transcriptions in this create tab. 
and it was just kind of building up the knowledge of the custom GPT so it knows what I sound like. And as I'm coming back here, I don't think I can delete any of that data. Versus Claude, I can simply just delete each transcription if I want to or any other uh, knowledge or any other data inside the project knowledge. And it's very easy to do that. So that's just one quick thing that I wanted to call out. So another pro of Claude projects, in my opinion, and this might be controversial to some, is that I do trust in and I like Anthropic more than I do OpenAI. I'm not a big fan of OpenAI. I don't really trust what they have going on behind the scenes. They've lost a lot of employees lately. Uh, they also just had this report just came out uh, where they're losing billions and billions of dollars on training and staffing. Uh, they were going through several lawsuits. They fired Sam Altman a while ago. They have tons of money behind the scenes from Microsoft uh, and other big tech investors. And I just, I honestly, guys, I just do not trust OpenAI. I don't trust what they're doing. Um, and that's not to say that Claude is perfect and Anthropic is perfect. I know they're not. They're still getting a lot of money from Amazon and other big tech companies. I just trust Anthropic a little more than I do OpenAI. And for that reason, I have to give that as a pro to using Claude projects versus custom GPTs. So just some final thoughts here, and I appreciate you guys who have stuck around this far in the video. I'm going to tell you which one that I recommend or which one that I use more for my specific use case. So again, I do own a marketing agency, and what I found for my specific use case is that I prefer Claude Projects. Now, there's a couple reasons why. Number one, it's a lot easier to just go in and create one project for a client for each client versus one custom GPT for each client. I also prefer the outputs of Claude 3.5 Sonnet over GPT 4.0. GPT 4.0 is a lot more detectable still, not only from AI content detectors, but from just general people reading. It's a lot easier to detect content that's written from chat GPT versus Claude 3.5 Sonnet. It does sound a little more empathetic in my opinion. And especially when you go in and add some of these custom instructions, uh, so you can say like, don't use certain words, sound like this, um, you know, rely on the provided project knowledge to dictate your writing tone. There's all sorts of different custom instructions that you can do here. And I won't get into the weeds of this, uh, but long story short, I do prefer Claude 3.5 Sonnet over GPT 4.0. And so for that reason, I have to side with Claude projects over custom GPTs. Now I must admit, because Claude can't generate images and it can't browse the web in real time, and there is no Claude store, there's no Claude project store like there is a custom GPT store, I would admit that custom GPTs can do more than Claude projects right now. I don't think I can argue that. I also like the interface better inside Claude. I just think it's a, a more user-friendly interface here. Uh, when it comes to project knowledge, it's more customizable. Um, I just like it. I don't know what it is, guys. Again, I like Anthropic more than I do OpenAI too. Maybe I'm just biased in that sense. Um, but I just prefer to use Claude projects in my specific use case over custom GPTs. Now, if you're a graphic designer or you're doing a lot of things with research, um, sure, custom GPTs probably make more sense. And also you can leverage the custom GPT store. So a lot of you watching this may be thinking, well, I prefer custom GPTs over Claude projects. And if that's the case, let me know in the comments below and explain why or the other way around. Do you prefer Claude projects over custom GPTs? I just want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments. Uh, maybe you can convince me over time that custom GPTs are better than Claude projects in my use case as a marketing agency. So that's it guys. I appreciate you if you've made it this far. Be sure to like this video if you found some value. I hope I taught you something about whether it was custom GPTs, Claude projects. Hopefully I kind of steered you guys in the right direction. Be sure to subscribe to my channel here at AI Insider Tips. I recently hit 4K subscribers. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway maybe at 5K. Uh, so I really appreciate all the support and I hope you guys have learned something as I continue to make these videos for you. Um, so also be sure to visit my website at AI Insider Tips. I have the written versions of all the videos uh, and just more information about what I'm trying to accomplish here at AI Insider Tips. So again, this is Ryan. Appreciate you all being here and I hope you all have a great day.